In this video, I will show how to reload operating system on a Vulture bare metal dedicated server. Here you can see we have one bare metal server. Click on the server. Click on the settings. Under setting, you will see change OS. Click on the change OS link. Here you can specify the operating system. From the first drop down, select the operating system. I will select Ubuntu 22.04. For the disk configuration, we have three options. No RAID, extra disk unformatted. No RAID, disk formatted and mounted. RAID 1, software RAID. I will go with RAID 1. The data will be stored in both disks. Even if one of the disks fail, you still have the data. Click on change OS. You will get a warning. Are you sure you want to change it to a different operating system? All data will be lost in the process. Click on the checkbox. Yes, change the OS on the server. If you have any data, that will be lost. So make sure you don't have any data on the server or take a backup before doing the OS reload. Click on change OS. The OS reinstallation have been started. Current status is running. If you refresh, this status will change. Let's go to the server, access the KVM console. The server is rebooting for the OS reload. Let's go back to the main page. Now the status is changed to installing. The installation is now completed. Status is running. Click on the server. You will see the server IP address, username and password here. To view the password, click on the show password button. Let's try login to the server. Take a terminal. The command is ssh user at the rate IP address root at the rate. Let's copy the IP address. Look like server is not online. Let's see if we can ping to the server. Ping IP address. It is not responding. Once the server is online, we will see the response for the ping command. We started getting response for the ping command. Let's see if port 22 is open. Telnet IP address 22. It is not connecting to port 22. We may need to wait some time for the SSH service to be online. It is still installing some software packages. Now the software installation is completed. We got the login prompt. Let's go back to the terminal and try Telnet to port 22. We can connect to the SSH service. Control C to close. Now you should be able to SSH into the server. SSH root at the right IP address. We got the warning related to key fingerprint. This is because we have OS reloaded the server. We can run this command to remove all the key fingerprint. Let's try connect again. It will ask us to accept the new key fingerprint. Type yes. Press enter. You can find the password here. To view the password, click on show password button. I will copy the password and paste it in the terminal. Now I am logged into the server. That is how you install operating system on a Vulture server. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.